shooters, loaders, and casters. Welcome to JH586. I'm Jamie, and today I wanted to show y'all. The description calls it a Viking axe, but uh, this, this is the uh, one that uh, CW did a video on, and uh, I ordered two of them. Um, I bought one for my son-in-law and uh, one for myself, and I plan on using them to get it out of here. And, um... I was, like CW, I was really surprised at the quality of the sheath, but uh, see it's got a nice sturdy belt loop. You can put run your belt through there or up here if you want it to drop a little. I think it'll be secure. Unsnap it. Let's get it out and take a look at it. This sheath is really nice, and I'm going to tell you right now, even through the plastic, that thing is sharp. You can see it's a nice drop blade. The handle is, if y'all can look at that, that is, has a really nice grain pattern, beautiful wood. And this is uh, 1095 high carbon steel. This is a rosewood handle and I will do what CW did as far as stripping this shellac type stuff off and this is the first time I've really looked at this but mine does have some kind of place right there where a knot grew out of that wood so hey man we'll keep we'll just use it and if we need to we can we can replace it with a hickory handle cause after all, it's hard to beat a good piece of hickory, right? So, yeah, we'll uh, strip this down. And you can see right here, it's got a little little build up of the finish that's on this rosewood. I don't know if y'all know or not. Most of you do that play guitar. Your fretboard is made out of rosewood because it's strong and resistant to wear. You know, when you're pushing down on your fretboard with those steel strings, you kinda unintentionally wear a groove in your fretboard. So, uh, yeah, I'm tickled to death to have this. And the reason I wanna do a video about it, and I can know I don't compete with uh, doing videos. CW does a, a much better job of videos than I do, uh, but, uh, he told me to get in touch with the guy and the guy will work with you. Well, he, the guy cut me a deal because I was buying two. He gave me a little bit of extra off because I dropped CW's name because CW did the great video about it. And, uh, man, that just, that's just a good looking piece right there. There you go. That's good light for you to see. The guy is on eBay. The name of his store is Modern Knives. And I'll put a link to that and probably CW's video as well so you can uh, see him. But uh, the guy's real good to work with. He ships out of New York. So where these are made, I don't know. But it definitely has a very nice edge. And with it being... 1095 high carbon steel. We'll get this all cleaned up and I'll uh, do a I'll do a boil linseed oil finish on this handle as well because I just love linseed oil finishes. What's so great about those, particularly on gun stocks, is if you have a, a boo-boo, you can just fix that one little spot and carry on. You don't have to completely strip your stock and start all over with a new finish. But I really like this. This feels balanced well. And uh, uh, I plan for this to be used. Whether it be just busting kindling. Throwing it on the side of my backpack for hunting. Whatever. I think this would be really nice to have in the turkey woods. For cleaning you out a place to, place to sit. Take this and, uh, and a machete and you should be able to get where you need to for turkey season anyway i'm rambling y'all check out um check out modern knives on ebay he's got like 70 items over there he's uh doing a pretty good business and like i said get in touch with him he'll work with you 
Check us out Friday night, 8 o'clock, Georgia's Shooting Connection channel for our Friday night live stream. And we hope the Lord blesses you all real good. Hope you had a great Christmas. Looking forward to a new year. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.